And back here at home, Wendy, uh, quite the opposite effect. A lot of rain uh, recently, but we did get a sliver of sunshine today. Oh which my was nice. goodness, it finally came <laughs> out, didn't it? I mean, all morning long, and it was very cloudy. There was really a whole lot of rainfall, just a couple of showers along the coastline. And then all of a sudden, I mean, it was all of a sudden, I looked up and went, What's that? Yeah, what is that thing? Isn't that exciting? We finally have some sunshine. And so most of the showers that did take place today took place east of I 75. And right now we're getting some good downpours around Mayaka City. And and those rains are moving away. We've got some isolated thunderstorms there as well. Other showers are forming out in the Gulf of Mexico, but they're not going to make their way on shore for another couple of hours. And right here around Punta Gorda, we're seeing some showers. We also have a couple of showers that are dying out here across parts of Charlotte County, and they're moving off towards the east northeast. And as you can see, these couple of showers that are located out here, they're holding together pretty well, and they may, may be moving on shore. So we might see those developing and moving on in for a little bit later on tonight. This is what our future forecast looks like. You can see the showers that are presently along the west coast right now, and then they're going to be moving on, dissipating, and the showers that are out in the Gulf of Mexico don't really appear as though they're going to be coming on to the shoreline for later, but that's something we'll just have to wait and see. And then by tomorrow, we only get a 20% chance of rain in our forecast. So we're going to see some nice day. Even Labor Day is taking a break from all of this rain. Too much work. 88 degrees was our daytime high today. The overnight low 76. Normally we're at 90 and 75. But because we didn't have sun throughout most of the morning hours, the sun didn't really begin to appear until later on in the afternoon. So right now it's 87 degrees and our dew point and humidity levels are high. Tropical look. This is what's going on. We now have a category three hurricane. Irma is moving towards the west at 14 miles per hour, 115 mile per hour winds. And now there are hurricane warnings in effect for the Leeward Islands. And we're going to continue to see this system just getting stronger over the next several days. And it will become a category four by Tuesday. And what you're going to notice is that by Thursday, we're going to see it actually decrease a little bit in the winds, but it's still going to be a Category 4 hurricane. It's going to run into a little bit of shearing here, but we're going to have to continue to monitor this system because right now it's too far away to say exactly where it's going to land, but all of the models are bringing it either towards Florida or points north up through the middle Atlantic coast. So we're just going to have to continue to see and wait and see. So now is a good time to make sure that your hurricane preparations are ready, that your hurricane kit is fully stocked, and that you know what your plans are. Because this is a system we just have to continue to monitor over the next couple of days. Nothing is set in stone right now. Of course, we've got Irma. But we also have this system right here, and this one is now a tropical wave. We've been watching it for the past 24-hour period, and it has a 60% chance of developing over the next five days. So that's something we're going to continue to keep our eyes on. For boaters, winds will be out of the east at 10 knots, seas 1 to 2 feet, a light chop. It will be a great day to get out to the beach tomorrow. We're expecting a high of about 89 degrees, and our forecast is only calling for a 20% chance of rain for tomorrow. So finally, labor day is taking a break from all the rain. We bring our rain chances right back, though, beginning on Tuesday. Adam?